war has returned to Europe. Almost 30 years after the Balkan Wars and over half a century after Soviet troops marched into Prague and Budapest, civil defense sirens again went off in the heart of a European capital. Men, women, children are dying once again because a foreign leader, President Putin, decided that their country, Ukraine, has no right to exist. And we will never, ever let that happen and never, ever accept that. And if Putin was seeking to divide the European Union, to weaken NATO, and to break the international community, he has achieved exactly the opposite. We are more united than ever, and we will stand up in this war. That is for clear that we will overcome and we will prevail. We are united and we stay united. We have endured two years of pandemic, and we all wished that we could focus on our economic and social recovery. But I believe the people of Europe understand very well that we must stand up against this cruel aggression. Yes, protecting our liberty comes at a price, but this is a defining moment, and this is the cost we are willing to pay, because freedom is priceless, honorable members. This is our principle. Freedom is priceless. And our union, for the first time ever, is using the European budget to purchase and deliver military equipment to a country that is under attack. 500 million euros for the European Peace Facility to support Ukraine's defense. As a first batch, we will now also match this by at least 500 million euro from the EU budget to deal with the humanitarian consequences of this tragic war, both in the country and for the refugees. Long live Europe and long live a free and independent Ukraine. Mes vame slava Ukraine.